DJ, when you kind of look back at yesterday, what do you think the, the offense struggled so much? Uh, just trying to get into a rhythm. Uh, we got to execute on third down. That's the main thing. So coming out of that game, we just got to execute on third down, uh, keep the chains moving. Coach said that he told you guys that he said, quote, star players need to, to play like star players. Is that the message he gave you guys? And how was that? Yeah, that's perceived as people that was drafted or got paid, they got to go out there and make the big time plays when their number's called. So it's the challenge to everybody, first, second, whoever, if you, even if you consider yourself a star, just go make a play. Uh, significant amount. Uh, it ain't nothing new, but you just gotta work through it every game. What more so than previous years? How do you? How did you take the message personally about the star player comment as it related to to you and your performance? How did it, I? Take it, and took it as uh, I gotta go out there and be a playmaker, you know. I've been making plays thus far, I just gotta get back to doing that. Since the cars didn't fall in our favor to make plays, like uh, that's such, I had a drop, uh, so that's on me. It's not hard, I got a relationship with everybody on the team that's a quarterback, so it's really not hard. Is it hard at all just from like a, I don't want to say morale standpoint, but, but maybe so, when every week you're kind of coming in and waiting to hear who's going to be the starting quarterback? Uh, nah, because I know they all can play, so just going out there and executing what I can for them, so it's the best thing I can do. Are you having trouble creating separation more this year at all? or? Is... I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, double team, triple team, anything. I know I can get open, other receivers can get open, so we just gotta go out there and do what we can do. Will said today, like, someone asked him about maybe playing some younger players at, across the board, not at one particular. He said, I'm still about now. Is that where you are with this? And kind of, how hard is it to stay in the now? Uh, it's not hard at all because we still got football left to play. Like we got a game Sunday. Like until football's over, with, it's gonna be that easy just to go into the next one. DJ Wilkes is very direct <laughs> with us, with you. How how is that? And how it is? I don't know. If different is the word, but how do you guys receive that? Uh, him being direct, uh, you always want your coaches to be direct, uh, no matter what, if it's good or bad. Uh, it just shows that he believes in us, and what he believes in is going to work. Does it take some getting used to when it can be a little pointed sometimes? You can't have no hard feelings in this game, so that's how I take it. When you, uh, one more loss, and mm -hmm. it's going to be your fifth straight losing season of Panther since you've been here. Mm -hmm. How tired are you of this? I mean, everybody will be tired of losing. Y'all will be tired of losing if y'all was going against, well, y'all probably do go against each other, but y'all are tired of losing probably in ratings and stuff. So everybody get tired of losing in, in as one aspect or another in life. Is it frustrating? I, I, I mean, yeah, because it would be back to back, but I'm just tired of losing. When Tepper fired rule he said it was in part because the failure to get over the hump mm -hmm. how does this franchise get over the hump first going we got to start by stacking back-to-back -back wins just building off of there 